Hello friends, welcome to our Masapti webcast. In this video, we will see the steps to take a system state backup in a Windows Server 2012 R2 2 min controller. Maintaining an active directory database is an important administrative task that you must schedule regular to ensure that in case of disaster, you can recover lost or corrupted data and repair the active directory database. The active directory database is stored as a file name antids.date. When you install and configure Active Directory Domain Service, you can specify the location of that file. The default location is System Root NTDS folder. So you can uh, backup the Active Directory Domain Service by using Windows Server Backup, wbadmin.exe command line utility, or we can use PowerShell as well. Depending on the roles installed on the computer running Windows Server 2012 R2, the system state data on a domain controller includes the component like uh, Active Directory Database, the Syswall Shape Folder, the Registry, System Startup Files, the Complex Class Registration Database, Active Directory Certificate Service Database, Cluster Service Information, Microsoft IIS Meta Directory, and the last System Files under Windows Resource Protection. So in this example, we have a one domain controller name as rt-dc01 and for our domain mylab.local, we have a single domain controller. So already on this server, I log in as a domain administrator. Our first step will be installing Windows Server Backup feature. So let's click on Manage, select Add Roles and Features, click on Next on Before You Begin page, select Role Base or Feature Base installation, then click on Next. Now select the local server. In uh, my case, that is srt-dc01. Click Next. Click Next and on Select Feature page, select Windows Server Backup. Click on Next and click on Install to start the installation process. Okay, so as you can see, Windows Server Backup feature has been successfully installed on this server. Let's close this console and now let's click on Tools. Select Windows Server Backup that will open Windows Server Backup console. On that console, let's uh, click on Local Backup. Now on this screen, let's uh, click on Backup once in uh, Accent Pane. Now this time, we're going to take a Backup once. That's why the first option is grey out. Select second one, different options, and then click on Next. Now here we have uh, two type of options, Full Server and the Custom. So we are going to select Custom because we want to take a System State Backup. Let's click on Next. Now here on this console, let's click on Add Items and from this just select System State. Click on OK. Now click on Add One Settings. Click on VSS Settings and select VSS Full Backup. Choose these options if you are not using any other product to backup the applications. These options updates the backup history of each file and clears the application log files. Let's click on OK. Click on Next. Now here, you can select the destination where you want to store your backup. By default, selected options is local drive. You can store on uh, any other remote share folder as well. But just for the demonstration purpose, I am storing the backup on a local drive. Let's click on next. Now here, you can select your partition on which you want to store the backup. For me, I am storing the backup on a E drive. Let's click on next. Let's click on backup to start the backup process. So as you can see, VSS is creating a shadow copy of our volume. Initially, it is calculating the files which will include in a system state backup. So as you can see, the backup has been completed successfully on the system. Let's uh, close this console. Let's click on close to close this console. You can also use the wbadmin.exe command line utility to take a system state backup. Let's uh, right click on start menu, select command prompt as admin. We can also use command wbadmin, then we have to specify the command start system state backup. 
then we have to specify the backup target so let's specify backup target and that will be uh, on a e drive so by using this command we can also take a system state backup of this windows server 2012 r2 to image controller backup of active directory is essential to maintain an active directory database i hope this video helps during backing up the active directory database in a windows server 2012 r2 to image controller and that's it for this video demonstration Thank you for watching this video.